Hello doctors, let's get to see the connection between gut and brain. It might appear absurd and silly at the very superficial level because brain is somewhere, gut is somewhere, there is no direct anatomical connections. But still, how does these two structures are very interconnected and how are we you know, bringing these completely different anatomically located structures into one axis. But yes, it is happening. So, how does this work out guys? What is gut brain axis? Now, even though they are anatomically very distinct, brain is located in cranial cavity, gut is located in abdomen. Apart from vagus nerve, there is no direct anatomical touch between brain and gut, but still there are plenty and plenty of mechanisms with which brain can influence gut, gut can influence brain. So what is this word guys, what is this word gut? Gut refers essentially to intestines, right, essentially to intestines. It also to very little extent involves other structures of GIT like stomach and esophagus, but in a very colloquial manner, the word gut refers to intestines. So friends, even though we speak about gut brain axis like a connection between brain and you know GAT, in reality the connection is seen between brain and intestines. So that is your first point you have to be clear when you start understanding gut brain axis. This is a connection between brain and intestines not entire GAT or not entire gut and as I was telling you moments before, this connection is not just anatomical. Of course, there is a vagus nerve that keeps these two structures very interconnected. But more than that one pathway of connection, we have other mechanisms with which intestines and brain speaks to each other and one structure influences the other structure. Those connections are, those connections are doctors number one, immune pathways, number two, endocrine pathways, number three, neural pathways. Apart from immune, endocrine and neural pathway, we also see number four, humoral pathways. Humoral pathways which refers to blood structures or blood products mediated connections. Humoral pathway, there are four kinds of mechanisms with which brain and intestines communicate with each other. And this is a bi-directional communication guys and that is something I want you to be very clear with. Please remember this is not brain influencing gut alone or gut influencing brain alone. This is a reciprocal connection. This is a bi-directional connection which means brain could able to influence intestinal functions whereas intestine could able to influence neural function. So, it is a bi-directional connections. Remember that. Now, as I was telling you, the connections are not just anatomical, we are going to see neural connections, there are hormonal connections, humoral connections and immune connections. Numeral, you know, like when it comes to neural functions, it is pretty straightforward. The connection between brain and intestines by neural pathways are purely anatomical and this is essentially mediated by vagus nerve. Number 1. Number one, it is going to be vagus nerve, guys. Number two, there is something called as afferents, which means neurons that carries impulses from the GAT, it carries these impulses to the spinal cord and via spinal cord, it goes to brain. This is called as sensory afferents. Only through that kind of sensory afferents, we could able to perceive sensations from intestines and stomach. To give you a very common example which many of you might have experienced by yourself, if we develop gastrite in a colloquial way, we can call it as ulcer. We do have the sensation of pain, right? We could able to sense a strong painful stimuli from the stomach. So we experience that pain whenever we develop ulcer. So how does this pain developed from a structure of GAT goes to your sensory cortex? It is because of sensory afferents guys. So, the first anatomical connection between gut and brain is going to be vagus nerve. The second anatomical connection is mediated by 
our sensory afferent. Sensory afferents, guys. Through these two networks, the neural pathway is getting solidly established.